Greetings to viewers from Ahmedabad Book Club, to all the readers, writers, to all the people who love literature, books, who love to discuss, review, and share and sustain the spirit that the books invoke in them. We are going global now. Ahmedabad Book Club initiative started by Priyanshi Patel and Kushi Dravji. A platform for all the budding writers, for uh, readers. With me tonight, this evening, is, um, how do I say? He is a professional decorated ex army officer from the Gurkha Rifles. He is a seasoned management professional with a track record of successful achievement of over 30 years. Uh, known for his strategic visions and recognized. He also is a member of Forensic Accounting and Internal Audit. Captain Rakesh Valia. Often at the age of six, and he then joined the army and then moved on to the corporate for a very, very successful career, a man who made his own destiny with grit, determination, and a very strong will. A man in uniform, I am uh, not surprised because all the men in uniform, they are made of different metal. The metal which is hard, very strong, which gives them the strength to face our nighting across every obstacle that comes in life, no matter what. Captain Rakesh Valia, of course, he's also an avid footballer, not surprising. I think all army officers are uh, uh, very avid and keen footballers, uh, travelers, and uh, hockey players, so I'm not surprised. From uh, Becoming a very, very corporate, um, successful corporate trainer, a visionary. Captain Valia has authored three books. One which I personally resonate with is Broken Crayons Can Still Buck. But no matter how many broken. As an artist, for me it is symbolic, you know, as an artist, I know the tiny little bit piece of color which can complete a picture and turn it into a beautiful a uh, beautiful uh, painting. I think in life too, that little bit broken, which might be for people, helps to move ahead, go ahead, gives you the vision to cross all obstacles. He has come a very, very long way. Captain Valia from you. He has authored other books to you, which we will talk about you. And of course, uh, I think it's almost a mandate question. How did your journey start? Uh, good evening, Nina, and thank you very much for inviting me to your talk show. And uh, thank you, Ahmedabad uh, Book Club. Book Club. Uh, really appreciate uh, me being invited on your platform. And an honor. You, uh, you made a mention that army officers are made of different uh, uh, group. That little metal. Uh, they are made hard, made different metal. That makes them different, resilient as compared to, I know as an army officer's daughter, so I know that. No, you see, if you slit our blood also, it is red, the same as anybody else. So we are the no, same not people. A... We are the same people. Uh, yes, probably the circumstances we are put into are a little different. And uh, yes, um, every human being, when they are burdened with the troubles, they rise. It is not that only me or somebody else has risen. All of us have the capability and the resilience to fight it out. And uh, you asked me a question, how did my journey as an author started? Uh, I'm talking about, I will start from your life journey, you know, because uh, you have, uh, I've read your biography, you know, which says you come up from, you were often at the age of six and yeah. then to move ahead. And um, that is, you see, there are a lot of people who go through hardship who made a successful, uh, you know, success of their lives. 
but your story from uh, moving on to the army and then uh, to the corporate success in every way you were from the gurkha a very prestigious yes. gurkha rifles yes uh, you see uh, unfortunately uh, i lost my parents when i was 6 years old i don't remember them uh, they died in a car accident and uh, my life overnight changed and uh, being from a prosperous family you ask for anything if you ask for one toy you'll get 10 other toys you ask for one candy they give you the whole bucket full of candies so from there suddenly overnight uh, the perspective of a life can was changed uh, the reality of the life came in front of you it was dark it was difficult and it was uh, i would call it more of a trauma mental trauma and physical trauma all uh i was staying with my relatives couple of relatives here and there we i moved on but uh, there i realized uh, that there is a differentiation between their children and me being handled by them and uh, it was natural this is the love and affection what you show towards your own children maybe not the same as what you show towards the other so i don't blame them on any of these issues neither do i have any uh, uh, i would call it a vengeance in my heart but then i realize the important part to come out of this uh, uh, traumatic uh, life was to be self dependent and at that age self dependent means what self dependent for me was just a child labor earning a little bit of money. and the journey oh yes uh, there was nothing else to be done you see what else could you do as a child but yes one thing was very definite i need to be self dependent that that thought was initially in your mind to earn for your own meals to for your own food that is all was in the mind so that is how i conceived this i uh, thought and i started doing child labor i worked in uh, bicycle repair shops i started delivering newspapers i worked in carpet weaving factories so and and so forth and child labor was common at that time in india and uh, during that phase only this 71 war broke out and when then 71 war broke out there were whole lot of army convoys on the street the television screens were full of this um, army uniform uh, personnel so that fascinated me and uh, that fascinated me to that extent that it gave me uh, a direction in life that i want to put on this uniform so that was the goal and that was the aim which was in my mind ki bhai ab to fauj join karni hai aur kuch nahi karna so one incident led to the other i had no formal education and uh, with great difficulty i completed my high school now during this 71 war phase you see these uh, the army convoys and the army special trains were going from the railway station delhi delhi railway station at one point of time me along with the other colleagues those child workers along with the contractor we went to the railway platform to distribute uh, food packets to the jawans so while we were distributing this food packet the train started moving and i saw a water bottle out of the window and the gentleman was asking water pani 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 so i rushed and caught hold of that water bottle filled it up from that uh, uh the uh tub which was lying next on the platform and gave it back to him this man he put his hand on my head and says bade ho ke aap fauj join karna no that was the only thing he told me that bade ho ke fauj join karna and there the coin flipped in my head ke yes ab to fauj join karni hi hai so i came out i started asking people how to join the army So they told me they say that to join the Indian Army you need to have a minimum qualification of ten. Uh, at that time, the matriculation was there, high school. And uh, I had no education. I had gone up to sixth class or fifth class only. So as a child labor, I started studying. Uh, I went to Gwalior. I had no money for my books. 
I used to go to a book stall, okay, take out books from there, used to write with the carbon paper. Whole night I used to be inside the book stall. During the day I used to distribute his books or do work for him. At night he used to lock me up inside the shop and I would just copy down the notes. That is how I passed my 10th class. After 10th class, I saw uh, there was a recruitment center nearby. So I asked this gentleman, I said, I have passed my 10th class. Can you take me to the Indian Armed Forces, the army and give me the uniform? I thought getting a uniform is you pass 10th and you go and ask for a uniform. So that is how uh, I perceived the Indian Army to be. So this gentleman, he says, okay, yes, and uh, they made us run and all those things. And uh, then I suddenly saw a gentleman sitting under a tree. I asked him, who is that man? He says, he's an officer. I said, who am I? He says, you will join as a sipai. So I said, no, I want to be an officer. I don't want to be this. So he says, uh, for an officer, you need to do graduation. So I never knew it what graduation is. You see, leave aside, I hardly knew what 10th or high school is. So graduation was a big, big task. So the journey I came out from there, I did not join. The journey started because I visualizing myself to be in uniform of an officer. I would stand in front of a mirror. I would shout loudly at night that I am an Indian Army officer. My name is General Vadya. I would speak out like that. So that is how this journey started. I, with great, great difficulty, I cleared my graduation. My journey had been a journey of a failure. It is not a journey of a success. But the determination was so strong. The passion was very, very strong. That for join Karni, come hail, come strong. So like I failed in my graduation, I got this uh, compartment twice. And I wanted to give up. But then this, uh, the hunger to join, put on the uniform was great. So I cleared my graduation. By then, I had moved to Mumbai, Bombay. Uh, while I was doing my graduation, it was through a private correspondence. I used to do that open university, what you call it now. Mm -hmm. So I was with my uncle staying there. And he used to stay at Kaf Parade. Nearby was this Kolaba. And uh, we had these uh, Navy Nagar close by. So I used to stand outside the naval officers uh, that uh, gate and would see the scooters on which these officers would come out, meticulously dressed in white, absolutely neat, clean, and it impressed me. So one of the officers, he saw me that I am standing every day near the gate. He stopped his uh, scooter. He asked me, son, what are you doing? I said, you people fascinate me, and I need to put on the uniform. And uh, he says, graduation, Karni. I said, no, I'm doing it. So I did my graduation. Once I've passed my graduation, I went back to him. I said, can you get me a uniform? He says, you need to do SS, uh, this uh, UPSC exam. I said, what the hell is now UPSC exam? So he says, it is a combined defense services examination, which is conducted all over India. I said, listen, it is too tough for me. I just can't do it. He says, you try it out. So I sat in my UPSC exam. I failed the first time. I got discouraged. I appeared the second time and I passed my UPSC exam. Once I passed my UPSC exam, again I went to this gentleman. I said, here is my UPSC result and uh, get me this uniform. Now every time I would ask for a uniform and that is what I knew of the army, nothing more, nothing less. He says, uh, son, you will have to appear for SSB now. So I said, you are showing me a difficult path. I said, what is SSB? He says, service selection. <laughs> I remember my service selection board first was at Allahabad. I went there and I failed. Now I slept at the railway platform for one week. I thought, look, I had to come so near to putting on a uniform and I can't put on. And uh, then I realized, nay, ab nay karna. And uh, a moment came into my mind to end life. And literally I had decided, no, the world is finished. I said, no, no. Then I decided, no, the world is just at, yet started for you. It is not yet over. I came out. I appeared for my second attempt SSB. And I passed. When I passed SSB, I rang up this officer. I said, I cleared my SSB. He says, now will be your medical. 
so you see he is showing me one path to the other the other the other and he is not telling me in one go anyhow i cleared my medical exam came back and i told him i cleared my medical he says ab to ek wo aapki competitive list banegi ek merit list i said now what is that merit list he says you see there are so many people who are appearing and so many pass the vacancies are only 136 or so i said hell 136 mein main kaise aaunga anyhow i cleared 136 mein naam aa gaya and then i remember when my name came in 136 list at that time we used to have this uh, uh, employment news the newspaper i saw okay. my re- yeah i saw my result in that and uh, i saw when i am passed i came to delhi i used to stay in karolbagh from karolbagh to upsc office at uh, bahadur shah zafar road somewhere i went running barefoot slippers in my hand i ran all the way why slippers in my hand if the slippers would have broken i didn't have the money to put on a new pair of slippers and then when i reached the upsc exam my feet were bleeding i asked the clerk i said look this is my roll number uh, is this roll number passed so he looked at me he says yes it is passed and there the earth moved under my feet so then i realized yes i have passed then he said okay now you need to go for a training now i went in for my training i was a weak cadet because uh, i had no uh, proper nourishment in my life i was really very very weak i could not run you you still cleared the medical i cleared everything so that is proof enough i cleared everything but uh, the academy was a big 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 task for me and there uh, when i initially landed up i failed in my drill test i failed in my swimming i failed in my 200 meters i failed in my ruksak run i failed literally in everything so my directing staff he told me son you go back you'll die in this academy in case you struggle like this i was literally literally struggling so i told this gentleman as a sir nahi ab wapis jana nahi hai because i knew it in case i come out of the academy will be hell outside and i have to make myself here only and then things changed for me i remember when i passed out i passed out best in swimming best in writing best in athletics best in academy and uh, i joined the gorkha rifles i served for 10 years in the indian army it was fantastic it was absolutely amazing journey though difficult but yes i enjoyed it. captain wali i'm so glad to you said that you know uh, people civilians uh, i mean i don't blame they have a different life they don't it's not being easy being in the defense whether in the army the navy or the air force men in uniform they don't become hard metals like that's what i meant because this the stories that you were telling you know i heard my father and his friends talking you know uh, i i am in jab dera hum jaate hain the officers training there many who even uh, t- uh, are trained for commandos they don't clear it but the training itself uh, makes you very resilient that's not easy amne sun to sun sun ke bade hue hain humko mujhe bhi sunna pada hai you don't get up in the morning hum exercise karte ye karte hain so i was say yaar i am not in the army yet hame to sone do so these uh, this is what uh, makes i mean the men uh, they serve uh, serve the nation it's not easy it's well, the special I, I, kind the special kind you have to go through a lot no every live in the you see and you know every one of us has challenges ask a doctor you see during this covid pandemic the doctors have done wonders uh, the other people have done wonders the engineers are there the doctors yeah, but, no no i agree with that but uh, rakesh see while captain walia rakesh army is a uh, it's not an okay it's an always you know like once you in the army any anyone in the defense whether the navy or the fs aapka to 24 ghanta especially the ones who live in the borders those conditions are not easy even now no, I, I, never mind I, I, so i that is what i'm thinking sabka apna hai they are chipped everywhere oh But yes true. no i am blessed i bless i'm blessed i'm blessed that sir i will always be extra partial to मुझे बोलते सिविलियन से आई एम अ सिविलियन बट यस आई एम अ डिफेंस डॉट आई एम आई एम मिलिट्री ब्लड नो आई कैन इट्स नॉट आई रिस्पेक्ट दैट आई नो सर 
so glad uh, you what a wonderful story what a wonderful story of hardship i think a lot of people who would be watching or see the uh, videos a little uh, would be very very inspired by how you have come up and uh, not just in the army for people who want to make it in life no matter where determination yes you have to be determined and focused on your goal ki ye mujhe karna hi hai mujhe ye banna hai so if you lose the focus then you lose your uh, track your goal i mean i think that's what inspired but then later on you moved you had to leave on a very compassionate ground and you moved ahead i was going through your academic list which is very very impressive you know? not just graduation you've done mba you've done other degrees in law <clears throat> then you moved on to the corporate and you made a success oh uh, very very successful uh, life there too you know and then to move on to become an author what made you write a lot of people think but likhte hain main to ek aad page likh ke thak jati hu you know it's i have to think a lot but to write a whole book and to write your life history you know honestly that's not easy how did uh, that start and the title broken crayons can still come they will come no matter how tiny they will come uh You see, I was doing exceptionally, outstandingly well in the Indian Army. Mm. When I put up my papers, when I resigned, I was the G3 Intelligence 350 Brigade. Uh, very few officers you, of captain's rank. You, you, you were the staff captain too. You've been decorated with the yes, I was a um, golden staff award. Yes, I was decorated also with intelligence and, staff captains. I know when we were young girls, all the ADC the staff captain they were because they were the most intelligent and the best looking and the smartest in the army oh yes yes yes, yes. very uh, very uh, uh, the selection the selection procedure is such that okay, these type of designations are given only to the selected few very uh, very yes. uh, the career in the army was absolutely amazing it was well but unfortunately uh, my wife uh, she was a congenital heart patient and she had to undergo an open heart surgery so her condition deteriorated because my unit moved to sri lanka i think here and while i was there in uh, sri lanka because of the stress back home so she was uh, unwell she started remaining unwell so i had to quit the army i resigned from the indian army probably i am the only officer of the indian army who has resigned from the position of a g3 int uh, as a designate int core intelligence officer i came out of the army there was nothing to do and uh, things looked so black because the life is in the army and outside are total two different scenarios nevertheless well, yes but god had been kind uh, i came into the corporate world i joined uh, the aviation trade i was there for about 10 years i worked with best of the iconic uh, global brands and uh, and while i was there even today like um, i am the uh, strategic director and director of sales for one of the tech company i am uh, the ceo for uh, another telecom company and uh, during my the course of this career i used to attend a lot of uh, training sessions and while undergoing the training and the motivational sessions i would only see the speaker would talk about certain presentations and present about somebody who has done great jobs this person has done this this man is successful doing this so and and so forth there i used to ask myself what has he done rather than he is just presenting so this was one way of asking a question within myself i said i can google this today and find out who is done who and then i thought to myself i said you have a story and your story will relate to every human being why don't you write so that is how i conceived the thought of writing a story and i mind you i had never been a writer i had never written anything leave aside a writer not even a piece of paper i have ever written i have just marked up past for join kar li bhag daud kar li but not as an author as such 
so this but one thing is there in me once i decide doing something then i do it till end so when i said you have a story why don't you write so i started writing and when i first wrote i started just scribbling my story that story went into 1500 pages once after i wrote for almost about 8 9 months it went into 1500 pages when i read those 1500 pages they were junk absolutely meaningless ke usme na sir tha na pair tha kuch bhi nahi tha and i got disheartened there after said nahi ab to wo ek wo aa gaya tha zid aa gayi thi ke wo likhni hai and then i started doing voice recording i did about 7000 voice recording and those voice recordings i can transcribed them into on a piece of paper when i put them on a paper it ran into about 600 pages they were too much so there then i started visiting lot of book stalls lot of, lot of uh, i started picking up books and i would see a generally how much should conveniently and comfortably a person can read in 3 hours time now why did i put 3 hours 3 hours i put it because i just visualized within myself i said say delhi chennai flight delhi bombay flight all flights from delhi are about 3 hours one way i said my book a person should be able to finish in 3 uh, to and fro journey maximum so that was the th- uh, thing which was coming into my mind now there then i realized a person a normal person average person like me can read about 60000 words in 3 hours so now i said my book has to be in 60000 words so from 6700 pages 60000 words means about 200 pages or 180 pages to bring down to, from 200 from 1500 to 200 200 uh, 1500 to 600 600 to 200 was a mammoth task because editing everything searching the dictionary ultimately i my book came out to be 163 or so pages so when the book was ready once that book was ready i read it it sounded like a james bond story it was not a story of captain vanya i said ye book ko to koi padh ke believe bhi nahi karega ki you have led this life because it was truly a story of guns battles difficulties nothing less nothing more anyhow as i said god is kind and god is great now imagine probably <laughs> today god wanted me to write a book and then when i read the book from the age of 6 till today i had all my pictures photographs and i started putting photographs into that book there the story of a james bond look like converted into reality it was absolutely real emotional and it came out to be a powerful book there were lot of people i am blessed so many people joined me together including gulpanang ji she came out she also uh, uh, wrote about the book many generals wrote about the book many people wrote about the book it's i think the among the top 3 best selling in us yes it is Open among the crayon skins yes very inspiring Open. book yes uh so the name it took me about 5 6 months to think of the name then i said the best name can be broken crayons can still color so that is how this book came when i wrote my first book people started calling me up people started writing to me ke bhi aur likho aur likho ab i had never been a writer never been an author how do i write the second book then i i i had an idea okay let me write a patriotic thriller So I wrote my second book, Shaheen Must oh, Die. Sure. Hmm. Patriotic right. thriller. Oh yes, Because it is a, another amazing. Writing. And it, it it is also a success. Shaheen Must Die. Then I wrote my third third book, Stupid Me. Stupid Me. It's a corporate saga. Okay. So I wrote my third book. Then I am working on two more projects. One is What to Say After You Say Hello, and the fifth one is Games People Play. so the journey one thing led to the other it has been an enjoyable journey fantastic journey though difficult but i enjoyed it yeah i think but i think compare so which is easier writing your own autobiography because in a autobiography you bearing your own feeling you know it's not very easy to expose apne bare mein bolna ek baat hai but to write uh, about what you have actually how you have lived is one thing another is a fictional story you know 
I mean, it's not never totally fiction, is it? Because it's everything from what you see around you, you know. But a story is made to again. Um, Shaheen must die. Interesting title again. She must die. Uh, you see, writing an, auto, writing an autobiography is a uh, uh, little tiring on your mind. My tiring, I said, is uh, you see, we have 1.3 billion people in India, and there are 1.3 billion stories. Every human being has a story. Not that only I have some special story. All of us have stories. Now, what happens is when you start writing your book, it takes a lot of guts and courage. Now, how much do you disclose to the general public? do i tell everything or do i hide everything just a little bit now in case you hide a little bit you're not true to yourself so you need to bring out things now once you bring out things to the public you are an absolutely open chapter but then what happens is in case people relate with you they understand everything in uh, my case i have been lucky as i said i'm blessed i'm lucky both ways anybody whom i'm associated with my friends my colleagues uh, my seniors juniors everyone uh, i relate well with them and uh, my readers uh, my clients today uh, we gel very well and they understand ki what type of a personality i am and uh, in case i say something i say honestly i say it truthfully and then i leave it to others to make the judgment so there i brought out my complete story left it to the public to judge how much do they want to relate to it or how much do they want to learn out of it and thank god uh, it worked and uh, it's a success uh, i'm thankful to every reader who read this book there's yeah one thing about another thing about autobiography autobiography is they uh, not only require guts because as you said uh, you you have to be honest you know you what to hide and how much to hide because there are people around you who know all the truth about you who have been a part of your journey you know in your good times and your bad times so when you are at the bound to be kare ye kya likha what is written he got mentioned this ye to nahi hua tha this is now it happened close friends might understand okay you put it across in the best way you can so i mean these things so i think i was uh, shahid was die easier to write think uh, of the plot the story uh, uh, i won't call it easier to write but the thing is you see once you think of a story line the yonder what happens is then it becomes a little difficult because you start improving a uh, page by page every page you set up your own targets every page every word uh, needs to be connected to the people who read and it has to be meaningful it has to be impactful so and it was a little different book which was coming into the market generally people don't uh, buy those type of books but when people started reading it this they, uh, they liked it uh, because uh, i don't want to tell the story here let the reader read it to uh, yeah, will uh, will not yes. disclose the suspense uh, yes but it is it, it is awesome uh, it is good not that because it i have written it this is a book or any of my book it relates to general public and uh, it relates to those who are uh, uh, passing through the difficulties or who have seen little bit of struggle in life which every human being has seen so it relates well to living beings i would only say that so namda bot pukla bar vice president has said hello mr walia it's an honor to have you on the abc page thank you monica thank you very much i am little blessed i am i am saying you people invited me is so kind of you thank you very much see monica is an author herself she saying sometimes the story flows without a set plot and every page takes it forward and i guess that is true oh, absolutely absolutely i think many times you think of a story and by the time you end it it's totally maybe quite different from what you might have perceived in the beginning and um, you see as i said ki every page every word becomes a challenge because you need to improve so that is how by the end you go so that you don't fade away you need to be better than on page 1 so that is how this challenge comes up and it keeps the reader engrossed and uh, i feel uh, i keep my readers intoxicated a lot your titles are very interesting stupid me you know when i first heard stupid me i thought must be a humorous you know 
kind of uh, you know a lot of comedy or a fun kind of uh, but it's a corporate uh, inspired uh, story oh, oh yes yeah, so yeah, that yeah, type yeah. of stupid me no is a corporate saga is is amazing mm -hmm. is i would call it uh, it's a total suspense it's a total Another suspense ha ah, what happens in the corporate world i try to put, bring in that so get suspense people audience who are reading watching you have to buy the book we cannot suspense we cannot disclose <laughs> buy it and give us good reviews so we more people read and know about any more people in the corporates will uh, maybe resonate with that because we have all uh, somewhere or the other in the life we have all gone through some earlier some maybe late so we can relate to whatever is written in the books and whatever the author tries to tell us in earlier no more than the author you see i request everyone just to google captain rakesh valia that's all just google my name captain rakesh valia you see i did that that's ha huh. why i say this is because every human being every all of us are same trust me i say you people are more in a better position than what i i was no, nothing to eat no no roof to have you under no clothes to wear absolutely nothing but dust and trust me if i can do everybody can do it yeah, i think i realize uh, more you know i think people will understand uh, especially if you have even always had a full stomach you go hungry after a full stomach i know some people uh, my family could be went through at some time you know we you go through this when people you trust don't seem to be the same but that is also the time you decide and you realize Are you going to go ahead? Whether you want to live it honestly or you want to, you know. True, absolutely true. It's not that I... we all gone through it. So, in a way, some people will talk about it. Some will not uh, discuss about it. Yes. कुछ रोते हैं उसको लेके और कुछ तो they learn from it and they move. Agree, I agree with you. That is. That's what I will. I will still say that's what makes a man in uniform different from. there are a lot of successful story in these civil people who uh, make it really really big you know in the corporate sector in the private sector in the business sector so they all have very very inspiring stories that's not here no, men in uniform i i for me men in han ji sorry and i thank everyone i thank god for giving me what i am today you see uh, by end of the day even today when i go to my bed i pray to god i say god you have given me enough i don't deserve this what you gave me it is not my worth it but in life please do not punish any human being the way you punished me because that person may not be able to take on that punishment i am so blessed he gave me everything much more than you my worth you are blessed especially blessed but okay, uh, there is a question okay sometimes uh, author monica says sometimes the story writes you it's not here one writing advice tip from you mr valia uh, sorry say again they repeat the question <laughs> one writing advice or a tip from you uh, for yeah. authors other authors writers budding writers seasoned writers they are one i writing advice or a tip from you see once you start you pick up your pen one is just don't leave it half way hmm. just pick it up and keep it with you that pen or if you sit down on your laptop or a system once you start typing that becomes your weapon use it Okay, don't give up in between. Generally, what happens is we get tired, we give it up. Number one. Number two, don't be in a hurry to write and finish the book. Just take it easy. Go step by step. Do a little bit of research. Understand the psychology for where you want to position your book. That is more important. 
See which segment of the readers do you want to position it? So understand the psyche. Do R and D. Do research, and start writing. And mind you, you will reach. As I said earlier, you are better qualified than me. You are better positioned than me. You are in the most advantageous condition today than what I was. And if I can do it, why can't you people? You will do it. Trust me, you will do it. But that's all. Yes, the current generation, I think, is blessed with a lot of facilities which we did not have when we were young. The computer typewriter, though they were typewriter, but I'm still, you know, I prefer using a pen pencil. But yes, I'm also active on my laptop and computers. They have become tech savvy. But today's generation, yes, I even I agree with that. That be thankful because you have so 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 much more. Uh, Exposure and facilities, you know, to whatever to do whatever you want in life. Be it writing, corporate, paint, sing, dance, everything in every field. I mean, even singing and dancing, music is uh, well respected, you know. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, what I say is like in uh, today's environment, uh, there is so much of an information available to all of us. We never ever imagined what we have gone through in last two years of time when this pandemic came. Now all of us have gone on to the system of say work from home culture or on our systems. But there is so much of an information available to the present generation. They are under stress. I agree, because the exchange of information is at their fingertips. Okay, there are loads of information available. I would only call it and only request every one of you. Is to utilize that information what you download in the most intelligent manner. Have the information with you, segregate it properly, assimilate it properly, and then use it to the best of the intelligent way. Just don't waste your time, okay? Or just collecting the information, deciphering the information, but use it also. Whether you write a book, you you write small articles. Or you start off your uh, uh, the pod or whatever you want to do it, do it properly. Have your page, have something come on to the LinkedIn, come on to this, develop a community of equal thinking people. Whatever you want to do, do it, but do it with your sincerity, and it will work. Anything can work too. I think there is an overload of information. In fact, you know, for the current uh, genre, you know, okay, Google, read it, then you become PhD, you know. Doctor okay. Banjatam Labits. So, yes, the correct, the right utilization of the information given is very, very essential. I think there is nothing that you cannot find out on the Google. You know. But, yes, so do use it sensibly, correctly, all the information to guide you and help you. Like. And, and that you know, is this Google thing, na, which is available, the information on the internet. I just mm -hmm. want to uh, tell every one of you. I am a cancer survivor, and I used to search yeah. for my images on the Google. I was coming to that, saying that you are not a warrior. You are a warrior in every emotionally, physically, every way. You know to fight uh, battle cancer. You battled uh, uh, maybe in the army. My father has what wars. It was a time 1971. To mujhe bhi yaad hai. My father was then in the Northern Command. So, when India Pakistan ka tha, I was quite young, you know. Maybe six, seven, eight years old. Zada yad nahi hai, but yes. Lekin abhi forty si chink aati hai, and everybody is you know, and you you read about one uh, any illness. Aapko aadhi symptom to you'll find it in yourself, and people start wondering. Mujhe ye to nahi hai, mujhe wo to nahi hai. No, Did you go through that in cancer? I know because you know when you first uh, go. To know that you have cancer, doctors to have bolne ke liye. You said Abid, yes, Monica saying a born warrior, very inspiring. No, uh, generally what happens is whenever the difficulty comes, now we just actually we lose our uh, control over ourselves. The main thing is just have a control on you. Don't lose it. 
then you go step by step everything has a solution every problem has a solution there is nothing to be matlab aisi koi bhi cheez nahi hai jiska solution nahi hai so generally we get stuck into small issues small rigma rolls small troubles small arguments they are irrelevant in life life has some total new meaning is so beautiful is so wonderful live it enjoy it love your life is amazing don't go for small issues bhi dikkatein aayengi aap nikal jaoge yahan se koi dikkat nahi hai koi problem nahi hai kisi ko because i know i have seen it i have faced it that is why i am telling you and i am still laughing in front of you all all of you there is no problem i say the world is most beautiful i am blessed to be here so live it very inspiring word now that sounds more like a corporate trainer and uh... the wonder people around you are so inspired you are known for your visions and strategies result oriented work and the best thing rakesh patel which the uh, best thing that i like what you said is people yes the trainers give examples aap apna bata because that gives a different impact Just, uh, even for writing books you have uh, written books which are successful so you when you say yes this is how you go about it you know or when you say there's a wall how to go up i be okay you have to climb this mountain but you have climbed a mountain you go give an example ki patthar hai look for law road here look for science here you have crossed the mountains and that's how you giving see i have crossed the hurdles i have crossed the stones i have crossed these walls i have crossed this river so i'm across that this is how you go about it that is i think how you center the example which is uh, so easy for people to resonate with you ki nahi nahi kiya to kar sakti क्योंकि आप किसी और kind of life you and how you have come up which is so inspiring i know from the coming up for the way you struggle to grow up to study your determination to join in the uniform chahiye you wanted the uniform without knowing what exactly defense and how to be an army officer the training is not easy i know that you know that now you learned it the hard way i think training every way in life but then private sector also it's not easy to make a mark in the private uh, sector is not typical there is so much competition even in the writing world being an author is not easy there's so many authors so what you write it makes a different which makes your book it's you writing your experiences honestly and giving examples from your life aap nange pair dode the pair aapke you were bleeding but you still made it just aane ki thodi si karo chahi to are main nahi chal sakta i think this is happening maybe with the current generation parents are i think over uh, uh, what do you call i think uh, i can't find the right word you know giving them too much you know they're not letting them fall and get up on their own they mean well i think all parents mean well but thoda ho jata hai kabhi kabhi handling it no i agree with you you see all of us have their own lifestyle all of us have their own difficulties at kisi ki achhi hai kisi ki buri hai but that is what life is नेशन विल रिमेन दैंड ऑफ फ्री ओली एज लॉन्ग एज एज दैंड ऑफ ब्रेज very very kafi sare padhe hain but this yes this uh the fun rate to the stage when on my mind this is yes the land will be free when we become more we yes uh, we need to raise more warriors not just physically not just for battle ground but i think emotionally physically financially spiritually yes yes i agree absolutely yes not softness 
For a nation to grow, we need warriors in every every sphere, every wake uh, of your life. We need to inculcate the habit of. I think only Bhutan was taught. I think that is also not wrong to win every time. Absolutely, absolutely. But they do not know. You need when you've lost it and won again. You know the value of winning. You know how to. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so true. Captain Wally, what is uh, which is uh, more uh, inspiring or makes you happier or gives you more uh, contentment? You know, the corporate life or being an author. I will not be ask for the army because army life is different. I know there is no way you cannot be content, not have deep respect for the defense for the uniform life. That was different. In the private, in the corporate. Uh, you see, nobody, uh, none of the uh, living human beings are ever contented or satisfied. There is always a hunger to do something. Okay. Now, as I say, most important part is you must recognize your own capability and live within it. The example just which comes to my mind is, uh, say for me. I I don't drink, no alcohol, no meat, no fish, no smoking, nothing, no good things I do. Okay, and uh, now when not I, even in the army, you did not. No, I did, but I gave up everything. Uh -huh. And I don't know now the case of all these things. But I don't know how many years I've been doing it. But we are a very good host when people come to us, we invite them. <clears throat> so they ask me, they say, uh, Captain Valia, you are such a good host. Okay, why don't you drink? And my answer is, I'm drunk with life. Okay, मेरे को जिंदगी का नशा चढ़ा हुआ है जब वो उतरेगा तब ये पीऊँगा नकली पहले असली नशा तो उतर चढ़ उतर जाए वो असली नहीं उतर रहा तो जिंदगी का नशा चढ़ाओ not job का you see today I am a author tomorrow I may not be today I am successful in the corporate tomorrow I may not be so live your life within your means that is what I want to tell you people. Okay, within the means, I don't say to be miser, be anything. Okay, have good people around you, make good friends. Okay, enjoy your uh, journey day to day. Okay, develop a community like you have these authors community. Develop a community, promote something. Maybe you uh, uh, patch up couple of few people, one or two people patch up with the good authors, start promoting or. Maybe lectures in uh, these uh, schools, colleges, whatever something, some type of a thought, okay, irrespective of whether you are a doctor, you are a teacher, you are a corporate professional, or you are a writer. Live your life happily. That is more important. No, no, we do that. Ahmedabad book. That is how it started. It was started by Priyanshi Patel and Kushi Rati. They are fine writers themselves. Priyanshi Patel. She writes poetry. Now they just started uh, as for book discussions. We have uh, we give that from you know we have book reviews, book discussions, um, uh, sessions with author, live session. Abhi to kya hai? Because of the COVID, uh, yeah. since a year and a half, yes. So now we waiting for things to normalize. And so when we can uh, invite authors, Absolutely. online Absolutely. session has its own charm, but then listening to authors, uh, listening to their inspiring stories. That we do that is how the book club started, you know. Not just read and discuss. You share all, you know, the knowledge in front of it. What we sustain from the books. So oh, every book good. that you read, it teaches you something. It tells you something. It takes yes. you into a different world. In every book I read, I am transported into a different world given by the author. Yes. You know, it's like uh, at a total different world, you know. No, I agree with you. So you, so that is. Uh, and I say, even if you, some people you don't like to read, you like watching films, fine. They're visual stories. Mm. You like music, they're audio stories. Mm. But being connected with literature in any way, mm. literature gives you refinement to your thoughts, to your actions. Kam to karna si, whatever job you're doing. Absolutely. That is uh, that is one thing you need to earn. Because hawa se pet nahi padta hai, philosophy se pet nahi padta. You need to earn. Yes. But I think reading, writing, good books. In everything, I mean, you have books even for whatever you're doing for every profession: doctors, engineers, charters, 
finance law they all inspire you to do better in what are you doing whatever you have been doing yes all the I knowledge have... that we sense sustain from them and the more you share the more you learn true absolutely true i agree even the you know the tips that you given now i can understand now what makes you such a successful uh, trainer you know people must be listening to you because it's so real you can so uh, what do you call resonate with uh, what you are uh, you telling what what you have gone through that's a proven success story that you say that i have done it you can do it if i can do it you can do it yes so that is uh, touches the uh, people you know yes then uh, even if you going through a small hardship are nahi we feel as one thing kaise kiya that's what inspires you to read autobiographies of all the successful people because they tell you that this is what we went through and this is how i came out of it and i know that people have actually come they follow they fallen so bad they thought we met another and this is it i am done you know i don't want to live ye bhi hua hai but still they have i agree i say you know that i say falling down is inevitable you know it's a part of life but getting up is living yes so get up walk up put your head up put your chin up straighten on your back and walk again and do True. what you feel like True. whatever is so much to this so much to do be determined from captain walia be focused be determined what you want wo uniform aapko chahiye to chahiye to don of that that is how jiddi ho jao zindagi mein i know that is going to there is stubbornness in you ki ye karna hai i think it's stubbornness a stubborn uh, which is very positive to do what you want to to achieve what you want to that is um, what a what a what a fabulous as we come to i think we'll be yes we coming to the end of our session and uh, what an inspiring session this has been uh, rakesh thank you very much for, for me advice. to for me to very very inspiring i hope people uh, who have uh, watched it to see it who will uh, maybe see it again do it again will be as inspired as i am yes take away from is me is from uh, for me is to keep this stubbornness in you in a life to do what you want to so achieve what you want Yeah. when you get up that is from me that getting up yes falling is is a part of life but getting up is living keep the determination keep that stubbornness in you what a fabulous evening this has been one parting quote from you captain valia sorry i didn't get you say one again. parting one last inspiring quote from you you see if i would say life never gives you a second chance it will never give you okay respect time do everything on time because you won't get the second chance on it you have one stroke play it well just one stroke you have it in life play it well and the success is yours my best wishes to every one of you thank you very much thank you so much thank you for being on the session and uh, conversing with me captain valia what an inspiring evening this has been thank you viewers for watching thank you once again thank you thank you good night everybody have a nice day bye bye thank you bye super thank session you. from pooja another author thank you pooja